As of last night, I came back from a week of 31 performances at the Magic Castle. And in every show, I performed this, the long and short of it. And in every show, I looked forward to performing it. What is it? Well, it's four pieces of wood in a burgundy sack. And with those pieces of wood, depending on your audience, you could explain the power of suggestion or demonstrate quality control, explain why you flunked geography, or maybe talk about the time you bought that thing from Ikea. You could also take the approach I took. Well, a lot of you came here to, uh, to see magic tricks, I understand that. And many of you came here to hear a discussion of classical architecture. <laughs> well, in an effort to please everyone. <laughs> I brought a little pouch with me, a little pouch with which we can discuss all the nuances of classical architecture. It's all in there. That's where it will happen. Ever go to Old England, Greece, Rome? All those yeah. cities look beautiful. The reason is they were designed with classic forms, standardized shapes. Let me show you what I mean. This is called the standard arch. That is the short arch. There's also a long arch. There's the short and the long. It's hard to see the size differential, but if you double it up, it becomes more pronounced. The short and the long, short and long. They're color-coded for ease. Now that you understand the short and the long, you get the, the idea? Let's talk about the short. The short arch is an interesting one because we're making windows or <laughs> doors. Oh, you thought this was the... Some people get confused. No, they're color-coded. This is the short, and the red are the long. <laughs> it's short and long. Very clear. Short and long. You can look at these just pieces of wood. They don't get bigger. They don't get smaller. Short. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at, no, you're right. And Oh, you're right. I'm wrong. Forgive me. Because they're, they're also labeled. Because you'd want to do that, right? These are the short. <laughs> which must mean these are the long. Of course, of course. Short and long. Short is very... I pe just you can look at them. They're pieces of wood. Uh, the, thank you. There are variations you can do along the way, which makes it really uh, useful in architecture. You can have a short long, a different sort of arch. It'll always match another short long. Of course, a short long matches a short long. Or you can make it a long short. A long short will always match another long short. Of course, they have to. Where it gets interesting is if you take the long short and you make that a short long. That, of course, will be shorter than a long short for <laughs> obvious <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Now, it gets interesting, though, uh, if you take that, well, take the long short, make that a short long, make uh, uh, the short long a long short, that'll have to be longer than the short long, even though it was a long short just a moment ago. I think because the word long comes first. I'm not exactly positive, but it's something like that. Uh, at least we know one thing. Two shorts will always be smaller than two long. It does get a little muddy, I admit that, especially when you... Realize each one is exactly the same size. <laughs> that, folks, is the long and the short of it. Yes, we learn, we grow, we change. It was educational as well. What is it we do? Well, we amaze and amuse. And the long and short of it in a space of about three minutes does both.